What's up Geeks 4x4? Today we are going to do a couple little projects. I'm working on the boat. I actually am uh, redoing some uh, armrests that need obviously new covers. Uh, ripped the old covers off because they were destroyed. Had to rebuild the handles and everything so I'm rebuilding that but as I'm working on that I got some mail and I figured that I should open these packages with you guys. They're kind of cool. Um, I got pile speakers for my boat and this pile marine amp. I had this amp in the Jeepster years ago. Um, this is a new one though and it's said to have Bluetooth. It's like 48 bucks with Bluetooth. So anyway, I figured I'd pop these open and show you guys what's in the boxes. First, let's start with these speakers. Alrighty, right on top of the box, got the pile support thing, you know, pile, pretty cheap company, but uh, I haven't had any issues with the products that needed support. Comes with wires, and a couple of speakers, and these are the marine grade speakers, so they're water resistant, I think is what it says, um, and 100 watts. So, see how they work, but that's uh, that's what's in that box. There's another speaker, obviously, right here. And it comes with mounting screws, too, so that's pretty nice. So, alrighty. There's the speakers. Alrighty, now on to this amp. Pile Hydra. So we've got the amp right here. It has a fuse, it has all the plugs and everything for speakers. It has audio outs on it. Got the brochure. And a bunch of cables. So here's the audio cable. Hey, look, it even comes with a um, aux cord, which is awesome. So here's all these little cords that go to the speakers. So these ends will be soldered to the speakers, and these ends just plug in. And got some other interesting thing. I, this looks like, uh, oh, it's a waterproof bag to put your iPod or phone in. That's pretty cool. And here's the volume for it. So that is what comes in the amp box and that's what comes in the speaker box. I should have later on in this video we're gonna have these installed and uh, we'll show you what it's like. Alrighty, as you can see there's the open boxes. Uh, I'm going to install these in the next couple of days here, so it should be in this video uh, that we get to test these, and I'll let you know how the Bluetooth was to set up, if it was easier, if it was a pain in the butt, and uh, give you a little audio quality. My, my audio is not the best, so I don't have a ton, but uh, like I said, here's what we got to install. It's going in my boat is where it's going, so. But I've also used it for Jeeps. Uh, we, we put one in my Jeepster, we put one in a buddy's CJ5, and I think and my buddy's actually going to put one of these in the Dodge W250 that we're building. So um, they're just so cheap and decent sound. And if it's Bluetooth, man, that's way cool. So let's head over to the clip of uh, it installed. I'll show you the wiring. So I'm out here installing a new pile amp. This is my old amp. It uh, was always wired and it had an on and off switch. Now the pile does not have an on and off switch and it's made to be run to where your key clicks it on and off so your blue is the key so what I'm gonna do is run them essentially to the same but not so this will be run past the switch and then there's gonna be a toggle switch one of these guys right here um, that I'm gonna mount probably over here on the dash um, to flip on the amp and uh, 
then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go grab a couple things and we are going to put this together. Alrighty, so we got it. a couple of new speakers installed back here and I got the amp installed. There's my original speakers, one there, one there. And the amp is hidden up in there. You can see it's on. So there's my switch for it. So that turns it on and off. And the Bluetooth was super easy. Um, so it's already hooked up and I'll play some music for you. I, I don't know how good the quality will be, but um, no wires. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited about it. Install for today. I'll flip that off, and uh, the amp is completely shut down, and we're good to uh, start on the next project. We'll see you next time. Alrighty, guys, just got done uh, installing that Pile Hydra amp with the Bluetooth. Man, Bluetooth was super easy. As soon as I powered it up, it was blinking the red light on it. I pulled up my phone, went to Bluetooth, thing popped right up, synced right up, no issues. So I'm really impressed uh, for a $50 amp. Man, uh, too easy without any cords or anything like you saw in the video. Uh, I still got some more stuff on the boat. We're going to be reupholstering these things. I've got them worked out. I'm just waiting for the right time to uh, reupholster. So that'll be later on. But uh, for now, I really recommend this pile amp. Uh, the speakers you saw, I'm going to put a link down below to everything. So amp, speakers, um, I got two different sets of speakers. One of them is actual marine speakers that are supposedly water resistant or waterproof uh, and the other ones are just regular piles and uh, I'll put a link to both of them and the amp down below. Uh, check them out if you're looking for a Jeep with open top and you want some sound system. Uh, you can get all of these. Uh, the, the waterproof ones were $20 for the pair I believe and uh, I'm pretty sure you can get all of this for under 100 bucks, which is awesome. So uh, check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.